Hey, any fish? It's still the 8th of November. And I didn't plan this one, man. Just on my little headline aggregator here. And of course, I come across another one here. <sighs> Posted yesterday. The Washington Post, Democracy Dies in Darkness. How sheep with cameras got some tiny islands onto Google Street View. That should probably read how Google got a bunch of sheep to carry cameras and divulge every single thing about their lives. But I digress. The place is called the Faroe Islands. And what's funny is their language is called Pharisee. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, I guess. But look at this here little sheep with the little camera right in the middle of the road. Are you in the middle of the road? Do you know Christ Jesus? Are you one of his sheep? Because what I'm seeing in the course of one day tells me that there's something about us sheep that is uh, happening, if you know what I mean. The middle of the road. I hope you're not in the middle of the road. Anyway, it goes on how they did this for tourism and all kinds of things. Talk about how to get the sheep to go running around with the cameras. and Oh, man. You know, it's just more mocking. You know, that's all I really get out of this. There's some weird language in here. They insinuate a f <laughs> several things, actually. But for the most part, it's just mocking the sheep. Ha ha, we just throw these cameras in your hands. We give you a shiny thing and you just do whatever we basically tell you. And we're going to end up just throwing you into the slaughterhouse. So enjoy your iPhone X's. As for the sheep that made Street View happen, they retired from filming, Hanson said. He wasn't sure, however, whether any ended up as someone's locally sourced dinner. Their job, he said, was done. Isn't that just fascinatingly interesting, don't you think? Sheep with cameras. Wake up, folks. I hope you see this stuff. I really do. Time's getting close. Please don't be sitting in the middle of the road. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 